Okay. I'm just gonna start off with an easy one. Um, okay, what can we start with? Let's just jump into something, you know. Uh, Alright, let's go. Yeah. We're trying, this is a conclusion we're trying to prove right here. So, why don't we go existential elimination on two and get when you eliminate a quantifier you have to change that first variable so we'll change that x to a so from now on x will be a as long as it's in the subgroup with no quantifier so we'll go da and ma okay so what do we know now um um, let's just get these out. So DA uh, conjunction elimination on three, uh, five MA conjunction elimination on three, six. Uh, what do we see up here? Oh, this is supposed to be an MX. Okay, so uh, why don't we universally eliminate number one? So we got not, remember X is now A, so uh, MA or RA. Um, that's uh, universal elimination on one, seven. Uh, now we have MA and not MA. So remember we have to double negate number five, not MA. That's double negation of five. Eight. Uh, now we can uh, do disjunctive syllogism on six and seven to get RA. So RA DS six seven nine. Uh, now we can just do conjunction and reduction. So DA and uh, RA. That's conjunction, reduction, four and eight. Uh, ten. Uh, remember, it's an existential. So um, you have to do existential introduction. So all we'll do for that is you just pop that existential in there and change the A's back to the original uh, variable. So dx and rx. That's the um, uh, existential introduction. Look at that shit. <laughs> it's so gross. Uh, on 9. And then from there we uh, just do uh, rewrite our conclusion since we have it. Uh, dx and rx and we're going to call that existential elimination on uh, 2 3 through 10 and that's it